As summer turns to fall, the ambient temperatures start to drop. But as things cool down, the fishing gets to be on fire. I'm talking about Northern Pike. Now's the time when they start putting on the feed bag to get ready for winter. And while many people put their rods away and look to other outdoor pursuits, now's the time when you need to be in Ontario to target these giant Northerns. We're at Strikers Point Lodge in Sunset Country in Northwestern Ontario, Canada. This big fish adventure starts right now on the new Fly Fisher. Nice. Strikers Point Lodge. <laughs> what a fish. What a fantastic fish. The small village of Armstrong, Ontario sits at the end of Highway 527. During the spring and summer months, it's a buzzing hub for adventure seekers. As the leaves turn color and the temperatures start to drop, the hustle and bustle of float planes start to slow down and the skies seem a little quieter. Armstrong is located about a two and a half hour drive north of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Just before town sits Mackenzie Lake Base Camp. This is the takeoff point for Strikers Point Lodge. And though we're well into the month of September, Trophy hunters are keen to jump on float planes and head into the bush in search of giants. Not big game, like moose and bear, but big northern pike. A short flight from Mackenzie lands you at the excellently appointed Strikers Point Lodge on Whitewater Lake. Strikers is well known for its large number of big northerns. And though most anglers target these giants in the spring and summer months, fall time is prime time. We arrive early in the morning and have a full day to explore and start fishing. Our first day on Whitewater Lake is typical fall pike weather. Cool, high winds with spotty showers. Perfect for northern pike. You gotta fish it as you find it. A lot of people think that wind is not favorable for fly anglers, but if you can position your boat fine, You've got the right gear, you can punch that wind. I mean, we're blowing 45 kilometers an hour right now, gusts into 60. And uh, we just had a big one come up, and come up and swipe the fly, so they're here and they're hungry. They like coming up on this flat now that it's choppy because they're protected. They can't be seen, they're not here feeding, so we're gonna see if we can get one to bite. What I like about fishing these weed flats is this intermediate sinking line just sinks just a little bit below the surface of the water and allows you to rip these flies through over top of the weeds. It catches the pike's eye and it's game on. Got him. Sometimes windy days are not a fly angler's friend, but you know what? Roll with the punches when you're on vacation, especially in the fall. When winter time is starting to creep in and the fish are starting to put on the feed bag. Come on, spin around. There we go. On the perch pattern, two strips and this guy ate. <sighs> Good pike to start the day. How long do you think that is? 28 inches. Not too shabby. What I'm doing here to control the boat is I actually have the anchor out, out front. And uh, we're on the edge of a weed bed and the wind is pushing us down. The wind is, is or the anchor, excuse me, is simply slowing down our drift so that we're not ripping through the, through the, uh, um, the pike grounds, the flat. Uh, and so far, 
It's all right. Things are working. <laughs> So I'm really excited about this piece of structure that we've just found. It's, um, it's a point of reeds that's in about two feet of water that falls down to a point of weeds in about four feet of water. And then on the outside of that is a sharp drop off in a four feet that drops all the way down to 18 and 19 feet of water. So this is where I think these transitional pike between summer and fall are gonna be living. They can be down deep where it's cool and they can come up into the shallows to feed. Let's see if this will pay off. Fish. Oh, and it's a good one too. Oh my goodness. All right. So, oh, don't go under the boat, buddy. Get through, good. All right, so we come up on this reed spot uh, and there's some sporadic weed. And um, I've got this big, dark walleye fly tied on here. We got ourselves a good fish. You really have to watch your boat control and your positioning when you're fishing solo for Northern Pike. And that was not two, ca two casts. Ah, oh, thick fish. Pops right out. Now that is a fine specimen northern pike. Lots of fun. When the weather's bad in the fall, you can count on big fish. Now this isn't a giant, but it will play. Lots of fun. Coming up, we get out of the wind and continue exploring at Strikers Point Lodge. Strikers Point Lodge is located at the east end of Whitewater Lake in Northern Ontario, Canada, and consists of five log cabins. Each cabin has 24 hour power, a dining area, three piece washroom with hot and cold running water, and a comfortable living room. A wood burning stove will keep you warm on chilly evenings in the fall. The main lodge, a short walk from your private cabin, consists of a large dining room, satellite TV room with Wi-Fi, if you need, and an excellent tackle shop. But what makes Strikers so good is access to different kinds of water that all hold pike. There's an inflow and an outflow of Whitewater Lake, the famed Agoki River. We're headed out of the wind in search of moving water and giant northerns. One of the things about coming here is, you know, if the, if the lake is too windy, like it is today, you can come back into the river and, uh, and catch fish. And I don't know if this is a walleye or a pike, but it feels like it's heavy. Oh, it's a good pike. Good pike, but of course, because it's in the current, I'm not gonna land this fish right away. I'm gonna get so the boat is in a safe spot and I can uh, not go down those rapids. That's, that's a good thing not to go down those rapids. So I left the motor running, as you always should when you're in a rapid situation, just in case you get yourself into trouble and you need to get out of there quickly, you don't have to worry about starting your engine up. The wind is blowing probably 45. It is quite strong, and we decided to come into the river and try our luck, and it paid off. Nice pike. He's a thick little guy. He's gonna go crazy, unless I can grab him. Nice fish. Great fish. Tons of fun in the rapids. Strong. All right, buddy. 
Here goes. So the setup that we're using in the river today is really quite, quite simple. The fly line that we're using is a weight forward 10 weight type six sink tip. So it's got a floating main line and a 15 foot sink tip that's type six, um, gets down fast. And then what I've done is added another uh, T11 uh, sink tip on the end of that to get it down even further. To that, we've got a short, um, a short piece of bite wire, probably 18 inches of bite wire, attached right to the fly. So these fish are not leader shy in any way. Uh, you can tie the bite wire directly to your sink tip to get it down, and uh, it seems to be working in the river for northern pike. Fish. Another pike. It's always fantastic to be, have a backup when, as fly anglers, as, if the wind gets a little crazy, that you can come in to a secluded area and, uh, and target these northerns. You always have a shot at a monster here at Strikers. It's known for its big pike. People come from far and wide, and these pike rarely ever see flies. All right. Nice fish. Man, they're unhealthy. There we go. That's called a quick release. So when it's blown 50, don't stay in the lodge. Get out there. There's places to go. There's things to do. There's fish to catch. Coming up, the big fish turn on. Nice. Big time. Now that is a fantastic northern pike. Northern pike are a wonderful adversary on fly in the fall. As the water temperatures cool down, fish that were in the depths of summer start to come shallow again looking to feed. Drop-offs and weed edges adjacent to shallow flats are key structure for these fish as they can lie in wait for their next meal. Weeds that have not yet started to die off are key, so look for still green vegetation. These weeds will still be producing oxygen. In turn, attracting bait fish. Flies to consider should match what these fish are targeting and include darker walleye imitations, perch patterns, and tried and true red and white bunny streamers. Some fish will even take poppers in shallow water. Joining me today is Strikers Point head guide, Matthew Scott, a well-seasoned angler on Whitewater Lake. All right, Mark, we've just pulled up to this nice weed edge in this bay. Have a flick there and we'll see if we can get a pike. Got him. Oh, big fish. Good one, big fish. You nailed it, man, right on those weed edges, hey? All right, Matt, he's barely hooked, man. Let's get this fish in the net quick. Nice. Good job, bud. Nice fish. Nice one. Long fish, hey? Yeah. That's the beautiful thing about fishing northern pike up here at Strikers Point Lodge, is that you've got real shots at catching absolute giants. Um, this is a very respectful northern pike. Um, I'm curious to see how long it is, and uh, you know, the way it attacked was fantastic. Just totally voracious. He's still quite green. We didn't want to lose him, and we wanted to get him in the net quick. Now that is a fantastic northern pike. All right, let's get him, let him go. All right, Mark, we're just gonna come down to this island. It's known as Grass Island. It's got some weedy flats and uh, a nice steep drop off. We'll give that a crack. Hey, is that a fish? Got him. Unbelievable. We spotted this fish on the, on the uh, bottom of the lake. And he came at it. Oh, he's on the reel. 
What a great strike. Oh my gosh, it's a giant, man. Oh, my heart is pounding. He's coming up. Amazing we could actually see that fish right on the bottom, man. Yes! yes. Woohoo! That is a stud. Northern Pike in Ontario, Strikers Point Lodge. <laughs> what a fish. What a fantastic fish. Coming up, we find a giant at Strikers Point Lodge. Look at this, look at this. So let's talk about the equipment that we have here at Strikers Point Lodge fishing these giant northern pike. I've brought along an eight weight, a nine weight, and a 10 weight rod. The eight weight has a full sinking line on it. The nine weight has an intermediate sinking line on it. And the 10 weight has a floater. The reason why is because the eight can throw small streamers, the nine can throw large streamers, and the 10 can throw big poppers. Now, with the reel, they're all large arbor reels, and the reason why they're large arbor is such that you can pick up the slack when those northern pike do those big runs. These are truly amazing water wolves. This is our final day at Strikers. The fishing has been great. We head to an area where we see shallow weed adjacent to a big drop next to an expansive flat. is a big, big fish. Oh my gosh. Look at this, look at this. Okay, I got him on the reel now. The challenge is for me to net him on my own. Hopefully he'll be good and just swim right into the net. Baby, come on. Did I really think it was gonna be that easy? I don't think so. It's a giant northern. Just a giant. believe it. I got her. I got her by myself. Oh, what an absolute giant northern pike. Okay, now let me just calm myself down. <laughs> Look at this. There's the fly. The streamer pattern colored like a white um, perch, a little bit of red, and a big eye. That's the ticket. Let's take a look and see what we've just netted. We arrived at Strikers Point Lodge in pursuit of monster, nor monster northern pike. And this is what you can expect out of Strikers Point Lodge absolutely mammoth northern pike. That is by far the most remarkable northern pike I've ever had the pleasure to let go. What an absolute beast. 45 inches of sunset country northern pike right here at Strikers Point Lodge. It's moving, man. It's an absolutely moving experience.
Well, that about does it for this episode of The New Fly Fisher. Thanks for watching. What an unbelievable trip here fishing giant northern pike at Strikers Point Lodge. I want to thank Alan and Krista Cheeseman for their hospitality, as well as everybody at Strikers Point Lodge for more on our series. Check us out at www.thenewflyfisher.com. You know, this has been an unbelievable adventure, and adventure is out there. All you need to do is go and find it. And what a better way than to do it with a fly rod in your hand. For everybody at The New Fly Fisher, my name's Mark Melnick. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the backcountry. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick from the new Fly Fisher television show. If you like big pike videos, do us a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today.